All right, hello, welcome. My name is Jason Walsh, and I just kind of want to show you this little thing. Um, basically, you know, I got kind of sick of the indecisive nature of ZBrush and how, you know, one one week it's 3.2, one week it's 3.5, one works for PC, one works for Mac. And me, I'm a Mac guy. I like my laptop. I love it. I sit down in the living room, and I do uh, good stuff on it. And I don't want to put up with the whole... Um, oh man, have you tried 3.5 yet? And then I got to go into the living room or into another room where my giant, huge, walloping PC um, sits there and takes up power <laughs> because I don't really use it too much now. I use that, the Mac. And, but now I found a, a new use for my PC and it's running on a Mac. It's pretty nice. So what I want to do is share with you on how this works. It is nothing new, but you'd be surprised on how many people don't know about it. I mean, I'm a pretty big nerd. And, you know, until recently I was like, well, why even bother doing this? Uh, so, you know, now I, I see the relevancy of it. It actually works quite well. You know, if I want to be um, on my Mac, I can. And if I want to log into my PC, I can. And I can play with ZBrush and take advantage of all the sculpting features and still play around with the new features that are in here. Okay. So here's 3.5 running on my Mac. So we'll run through this and how it works in the next video.